Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about fuel cell battery driven electric vehicle in MATLAB. So this is simulation model we developed for fuel cell battery driven electric vehicle in MATLAB. Here you can see that, so this is a fuel cell. So here we are using fuel cell and the rating is the 24 volt battery, 24 volt fuel cell with the rating of 1.26 kilowatt and here you will see that uh, the cat uh, that means cell parameter fuel cell parameter here okay and then here you will see that uh, uh, the norm, uh, nominal operating point and the maximum operating point so here you will see that the nominal op operating voltage will be 24.223 volt and then the current at nominal operating point will be 52 amps and then maximum operating point voltage will be 20 volt and then current will be 100 amps so that means 20 into 200 so here you can see that 20 into 100 so which is equal to 2000 so maximum power it can generate around uh, 2000 watts okay so nominal power will be 1.26 kilowatt okay 1.26 into 1000 okay 1000 260 watts okay and then uh, here we are using uh, boost converter right so here the voltage will be 24 volt and then here we are using boost converter and then this point right this point will be maintained with the the battery voltage level so here you can see the battery voltage we are having 48 volt okay so we are connecting that uh, in the uh, output of this boost converter on uh, this battery so the voltage will be maintained at 48 volt uh, rated capacity will be 200 h and this boost converter right going to be controlled by means of uh, mppt algorithm so here we are using mppt algorithm so to extract the, the maximum power from the fuel cell so we have to uh, use to drive that uh, electric vehicle as well as to charge the battery okay so for that here here we are measuring the fuel cell parameter and then here we are taking voltage and current of the fuel cell so that going to be processed via uh, p and o mbpt so here we have that p and o mbpt so here we are fixing four parameter initial duty cycle maximum duty cycle minimum duty cycle and then small change in duty cycle and then you have to calculate power of pv change in voltage change in power so based up, based upon the change in voltage change in power so you have to calculate the that means based upon uh, that whether it is less than zero or greater than zero that change in voltage okay or change in power so you have to increment decrement the duty cycle and this code will be keep on execute okay so every sample time you have to calculate the duty cycle okay so next process after calculating the duty cycle so here the duty cycle will be process via petroleum generator that means the duty cycle right so you will get the duty cycle so this is a duty cycle it going to compare with the triangular wave okay so when is going to be combined with the triangular wave so it will be generated the pulse so it will be generated the pedulium pulse so this pedulium pulse is going to be used to for control this MOSFET not the volt boost the voltage from 24 volt to 48 volt and uh, extract the maximum power from the fuel cell okay so next thing is in the common point right here you are connecting that electric vehicle so this is going to act as a electric uh, the electric motor that means BLTC motor so this will be act as a electric vehicle so here we have voltage source converter or voltage source inverter that going back to see a electronic commutator for BLTC motor so here we have BLTC motor so this BLTC motor going to be here we are going to measure the all sensor output so all sensor going to be converted into back KMF so based upon this control logic so here we have table for all sensor and then 
truth table for a back EMF. So these salts and salts are going to be converted to back EMF. So based upon this and logic, okay. So what? You have to apply and logic, and then finally after applying and logic, so just you have to use some some logic for generating the back EMF. So after generating the back EMF, so next you need to generate the control pulse for that or switching pulse for that electron electronic commutator is voltage source inverter. So this is a truth table for a generating switching signal switching pulse for that voltage source inverter based upon the back EMF. So here you will see that so based upon this back EMF detail and the back EMF will be compared with the zero greater than zero less than zero so each phase of the back emf will be compared with the greater than less than zero so based upon that we are getting the switching pulse q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 and q6 so this is going to be used to for control this this old is source inverter to control this uh, bds motor okay so based upon that you will get a it will be ran and the some constant speed or varying speed according with the, our application for electric vehicle okay so here it will be maintained at the red, uh, some constant speed only okay so next i am going to explain the operation of the system that means simulation result so here you can measure the fuel cell voltage current and power and here you can measure the uh, battery voltage current and the soc of the battery and then so here you can measure the speed and then here you can measure the torque okay and also you can measure the back emf and the stator current of the bldc motor So now I'm going to, and then here we have some condition. So up, up to force again that uh, pressure of uh, uh, fuel, right? That means air pressure and uh, then fuel pressure and air pressure will be one at uh, one bar, right? After four second we are changed to 0.5, and then you have to check the result. And also when there is no fuel pressure, right? Then you have to check the response of the system. So we have, to explain, we have to show that result also. So we will explain that concept also. So now I am going to simulate this model. So here we are making uh, fuel cell pressure from 1 Newton, then 1 atmosphere, uh, atmosphere pressure to 0.5 ATM. Okay, so now we can see that, right? So fuel power, right, is extracted towards to 2000 watts because at to 1 ATM right, so it will be generate maximum power around 2000 watts. So here you will see that the fuel cell voltage will be 20 volt and current will be 100 amps. So here you will see that this is a battery voltage and this is battery current and this is stator current of the BLTC motor EMF. So this is a rotor speed and this is a electromagnetic torque of the BLTC motor. So when the time reached to four second, that day, uh, fuel cell pressure will be changed from 1 ATM to 0.5 ATM. So here because of change, so here you will see that because of change in it, uh, 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 the pressure of fuel in air, right? So so here that power uh, is generation will be reduced in the fuel cell. So according with the, the charging current of the battery also change. So now I am going to make that uh, pressure of the fuel cell equal to zero, and then you have to check the result. So now you can see that you will see the difference. So now here you can see here, right, and that uh, because of change in pressure, right, it comes to around zero. Okay. So this this power is not enough to drive that uh, vehicle. Okay. So during that time, what happened? The battery, right. So battery is changed from charging mode to a discharging mode. So now is the current will be changed from negative to positive. Okay. 
so positive means is uh, in the uh, uh, charging mode negative means charging mode so here you will see the the jump in battery current from this point to this point because of the fuel cell uh, pressure is changed to 0 atm okay and also here you will see that the battery associates keep on increasing up to this point after this point right here we change that fuel pressure to 0 so the battery need to supply uh, power to the drive that load right Elect, uh, that new electric motor so that way the soc is keep on decreasing here but here you will see that right rotor speed maintained constant the torque of the electromagnetic torque of the machine is maintained constant and stator current vacuum is maintained constant without any deviation so so in this system the fuel and battery will be uh, balance the power supply so that means when there is no power in the fuel cell battery will be comes to drive the motor when fuel cell having power it will be drive the electric motor and uh, charge the battery in the electric vehicle so this is the operation of fuel cell battery based electric vehicle concept, concept in the matlab so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye